Hey y'all, it's Jen. Welcome back. In today's video, I have four of our all-time favorite slow cooker recipes. So to celebrate the month of October, or shall I say Croctober, I thought I would do a little bit of digging around in all the videos on my channel and bring up four of our all-time favorite recipes. If you're like me, I tend to forget about even really good recipes that I make just because I'm always trying more new recipes. So today I'm bringing you four of our favorite slow cooker recipes that you're going to want to put back on your meal plan this week. First up, we have pizza casserole. We're gonna give our slow cooker a little spray with cooking spray. And then next, you're gonna take a can of biscuits. You're gonna open these up and you're gonna slice the biscuits into fourths or six. Either one will be fine. So we're gonna cut these into six and we're just gonna place these in the bottom of the slow cooker. One tip I have for cutting your biscuits is to use a pizza cutter. It makes it a whole lot easier than using you know, trying to use a knife. So I'm just gonna do mine into fourths. Now we're just placing the biscuits in. And you wanna try to get this into an, an even layer as possible. They will kinda overlap a little bit, of course, depending on your slow cooker size. But just spread them out, cause this is basically gonna be your crust. Next, I have one pound of ground sausage that I have already browned up. We're just gonna layer this right on top. We're gonna start with about a half a cup right on top of our biscuits. And of course, if you don't like sausage, you can just leave this part out. You can make this however you want, you know, depending on what pizza toppings you and your family love. Next, we're gonna add about a fourth of a cup of mozzarella cheese. We're gonna add most of the cheese on top, so just a small layer right here in the middle. The next layer is gonna be our pizza sauce. You can use any type of pizza sauce or marinara, although I highly recommend Rayo's Homemade, specifically the marinara for this recipe. It's a little bit more expensive, but I'm telling y'all, it's so worth it. I've talked about this so many times. It really is our favorite, and no, they don't even know who I am for me telling you this. So you're gonna add about a cup here. But again, do whatever you like. I'm just gonna kinda pour some in. We won't use this whole jar. So just to give you an idea about how much I used, a little bit more than a cup, I would say maybe a cup and a half. Next, we're gonna sprinkle on the remaining sausage. Next, we're gonna top with some pepperoni. No pizza would be complete without pepperoni in my opinion, so we're just gonna add some right on top of our sausage. Again, put whatever pizza toppings that you like. Next, right on top of our pepperoni, we're gonna add one and three-fourths cup of mozzarella. Last but not least, I really love black olives, especially on pizza, so we're gonna add some of those. Now we're just gonna pop our lid on, and this is gonna cook on low for only about three hours. Let me just tell you, those biscuits make the most perfect pizza crust has a tiny bit of sweetness to it, which I think is absolutely delicious. I just served ours with a little side salad. This was actually a lunch one day, but seriously, such a perfect meal. So the second thing we're gonna be making in the crock pot is orange chicken. Really, really easy. I've been wanting to make this forever, y'all. And finally, I did it. And I was actually surprised at just how easy this was. I think it's gonna taste really good too. So that's what it looks like, and I'll show you how I did it. I'm starting with a pound and a half of cubed chicken breast, and to that I'm adding a third a cup of cornstarch, and I'm just gonna kinda toss that all around to make sure all the little pieces are coated, and then I'm just gonna throw that into my crock pot. In a separate bowl, I'm now mixing a cup of orange marmalade, a fourth a cup of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil. Y'all do not skip this step, it makes it, it is so good. I'm adding in some minced garlic. Also, I'm adding in a teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm just gonna mix that all together. 
Now you'll see me add some apple cider vinegar. The recipe called for rice wine vinegar, but I didn't have any and didn't feel like I would use it enough, so I'm just using that. Anyway, giving that a nice stir and then adding some black pepper and salt to my chicken and I'm gonna pour the sauce right on top. And I believe I cooked this for about four hours on high. And y'all, this came out so delicious. It had to be my favorite. So easy, couldn't believe I hadn't made it before. Anybody remember Foodie Friday? Next up is a recipe from one of you. It's cheeseburger soup. Alrighty, so here's a look at the ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe. Obviously, you're gonna need a crock pot. You will need one pound of ground beef. You could also use turkey or chicken, whatever you wanna use. You're gonna need three cups of chopped potatoes. I'm using yellow potatoes. I don't like to peel these. I like to peel in, so you can peel them if you prefer. Also, you're gonna need a cup of chopped carrot, one medium onion, you'll need a fourth a cup of flour, three tablespoons of butter, you're gonna need one pound, 16 ounces of Velveeta, we'll need some minced garlic, we'll need two cups of milk, one carton of chicken broth, we'll need some salt and pepper, you will need some dried parsley and some dried basil. And then also some crackers and shredded cheese for topping and garnish, but I don't have that out here since that's kind of optional. Okay, so you're gonna start by adding in your potatoes, carrots, onions, your garlic, your parsley, and your basil <laughs> into your crock pot. You're gonna cover that with your chicken broth and you're gonna let this cook by itself for about three hours on high or five hours on low. I did mine on high because I got a late start to the day. So I'm just gonna cover that and let it do its thing. So when I have about 30 minutes left until my potatoes and carrots and onions are done, I'm going ahead and browning up my ground beef. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, and then I decided to add in some hamburger seasoning as well, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna add it into my crock pot, give that a stir, and then bring the pan back over to the stove. So to that same pan, I'm just gonna melt some butter, and then I'm gonna gradually add in my flour, just whisking continuously. And once that starts to thicken up, I'm also gonna pour in my milk while continuing to whisk. And I'm just gonna let that thicken up. That's gonna create our creamy, thick sauce that we're gonna pour into the soup. So while that sauce is over there thickening up, I'm just going ahead and cubing up the whole block of Velveeta. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in our sauce to the crock pot and the Velveeta. I'm going to give that a stir. It's going to come together really quick. That Velveeta is going to melt really, really quick. And it's going to be all nice and cheesy and creamy. This was so, so good. I highly recommend trying this recipe, especially if you haven't tried anything yet. This was so good. Everybody in my family loved it. The recipe says you can chop with cheese and eat with crackers, but we didn't need the crackers. I just chopped with a little bit of cheese and it was absolutely perfect. So thank you so much, Christy, for sending in this recipe. It was delicious. I will see you guys in the next one. And last but definitely not least, we're gonna do some chicken and dumplings. So to my slow cooker, I'm just adding in three good-sized chicken breasts along with some chopped onion and then some pats of butter right on top of the onion. On top of that, we're gonna add some dried parsley. Next, we're gonna add some Lowry's season salt or any season salt that you prefer. Also, we're gonna add some poultry seasoning, some garlic powder, and some black pepper. Next, right on top, we're gonna add two cans of cream of chicken soup, as well as some chicken broth. Just gonna spread that all over top of the chicken, and you're gonna let this cook for about six and a half hours on low.
once your chicken is done cooking, you're just gonna shred that all up with two forks and just make sure your chicken is more of in bite-sized pieces. After your chicken is all shredded, you're gonna take two cans of biscuits. You wanna have 10 biscuits total and just quarter them into pieces like this. And you're gonna place those all on top of your mixture and kind of push them down into the broth and the soup. You're gonna let this cook for about an hour, hour and a half more on high. You want the biscuits to be a dumpling consistency. By no means will they be a regular biscuit, but they also should not be raw in the center. This is the most perfect comfort food recipe in my opinion. We all loved it. Alrighty y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know, have you tried any of these recipes before? And if so, which one was your favorite? And on that note, would you like to see more of these sort of throwback recipes where I pull up some of my all-time favorite recipes from here on my channel? Would you like to see those more often? And also let me know, what's a recipe that you've maybe saw my channel, either mine or one that I've shared that you and your family love and make often. I would love to know. I hope all of you guys are doing amazing and I'll see you real soon in my next video. Bye y'all.